Hey, welcome back to my channel. Um, my next project. You know what those are? They're metal valve stems. What they're going to go on? Right there, my trailer. Trailer tires, I should say, rims. Uh, what we've been having a problem with, I have one rim over there. It's actually leaking on the uh, valve stem. Let me show you what it's actually doing. Okay. As everybody should know, if not, don't worry, I run a tra tra or a tire pressure monitoring system on the trailer. And the uh, tire pressure monitor uh, sensor actually sits on the valve stem. So it monitors the pressure, the tire temperature, and all that stuff on this. But what we've been finding out, at least on this rim here, this valve stem leaks right at the rubber. You can, I don't know if you can hear it or not. I'll be really quiet. There we go. Hear that? So that's definitely not right. I think what, what's happening as it's going down the road, going around, and the sensor's on the end, maybe it's pulling on it just a little bit and letting it flex a little bit. And this ever so light slightly that's flexing is letting air out plus i bet it's letting air out just sitting here just sitting here stagnant like this with nothing being applied to it uh that's the only one i was able to find these other ones you know i can move those around nothing but that one definitely is leaking um i don't like rubber valve stems just for that reason right there they uh wear out over time they uh oops knock my butt on the floor they get uh aged the rubber starts gets brittle and they start to leak uh by going to these i have never had issues i run these styles something like this on my race car every race car should have these anyway should never have never have rubber on them so uh what we're going to go ahead and do we're going to get this thing pulled out of here need to get the wheel off on that side now i'm going to break it down here at the house so i can put the new one on i just had to break one side of it I just had to break the bead on this side of it, push it down, pull this one out, and put the new one in. So this should be interesting. It is a hot son of a gun here today. It's in the 90s. Heat indexes are close to 100. No rain whatsoever. So I'm going to be sweating my butt off today. I'm going to be earning it. <laughs> so here we go. Let's get started. Okay. This could be a cool way to lift your trailer tire up. See if this works or not. Can I drive it up on those ramps there. Next, we'll go ahead and take the tire off. Then I'll show you how to change the valve stem if you don't have a tire changer. Should be an interesting. Get the gloves on. sensor has a special little wrench here that helps it uh, loosen that up. Okay, so the sensor's out of the way. Let's get the nut. Okay, then take one of these valve stand removal tools.
Okay, the next thing, if you have an electric tongue jack on a trailer, you can actually use this to break the bead on the tire. Okay, so all you need to do is position this pad close to the rim here as you push down, it's gonna bust this bead off and I need to get this bead all the way busted down. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and bust this bead off. Okay, I got the bead busted. Um, basically took me to push down on it twice, and then I'll stand her on stand on her with my feet, bounce up and down, then it popped right down. So what we're gonna do next, go ahead and since we got this bust loose, I can now get the valve stem out and put the new one in. So I'm gonna take the tire up in the shop, a little bit warmer up there, or a little warmer, <laughs> a little bit cooler in the shade, and I'll show you how to get these things in place. Okay, the next task is get this out of here. I, I know they make special tools or kind of grabs on it and you, to install it. I assume you pull it up uh, how you do these. So I'm going to try to push it down. So just so you a pair of pliers and a screwdriver, I guess. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it works out just fine. We'll see. Here we go. Okay, I'm getting it out. You see this rubber kind of around here? Took the screwdriver and kind of just start working that rubber all the way down into the rim. Okay. Then from there, it's loose. Uh, let me put the camera down so I don't lose it <laughs> into the tire. Ah, put it up here. So you can see what I'm doing. There we go. There. So it's out. Some of the rubber I tore off when I was trying to get it out. So now we're going to go ahead and get ready to get the new one installed. Okay. Uh, this is the new valve, metal valve stem I got. I got. Uh, this is a universal one, so it comes in two different. It has two different uh, rubber pieces to it, and that's for the diameter of the hole that's in your rim. So I opted to go ahead and get both of them because I was getting conflicting stories about what size hole that is on the rim. So this has a bigger size rim, I think it's like 0.65 something. The other one's like 0.4 something. But anyway, I'll have it in my video what size uh, hole configurations that this valve stem takes. Uh, this apparently takes the smaller one. So I can show you. Okay. It's, uh, uh, it's smaller, so I'm going to use the smaller one. The bigger valve or the the bigger rubber piece does not fit in this hole at all so i do know it's the small one so i'm going to go ahead and install that and how do we do that get the camera set up here okay this will obviously this will go through the bottom you have the rubber piece on the bottom then you have this washer piece that fits over that so you're going to have the rim between the rubber and this washer then you'll have the nut that goes on there that you put pressure on. This nut here does not take that much pressure to hold the valve stem in place. I think it's four or five pounds at the most to hold this in place. So let's go ahead and get started and get this sucker in. Okay, turn the rim so you can actually see it a little bit better. So all I'm gonna do is feed it to the bottom here. Okay, now that rubber piece is now firmly through the rim. It has a little lip here, so you want to make sure that at least comes up through the rim, because that's what actually is going to seal it. So once that's in place, we're going to put the washer in place, and then we're going to secure it. The nut. Okay. I'm gonna go get a wrench. 
and get that good and snug there, then we'll get this sucker aired up. Okay, when you're applying pressure to it, the, you might have to hold the back side up from spinning so you can get it on good and snug. I just took a plier on the back side. Enough to hold it in place so I can get it, you know, good and snug so it's not, it's not gonna go anywhere. I think we should be good to go there. Uh, the only way we're really good to test it, I'm gonna have to put air in it, and uh, be the next step. So hopefully, with the other bead seated or seated, it has not moved. This side should be a little bit easier to put air in. So we're gonna get the compressor turned on, see if we can get this sucker aired up. Okay, let's see how this goes. There is a gap I can see. goes okay I'm gonna lay it down because when this rim pops in place I mean the tire pops lace it's gonna make a loud noise I don't want to be holding it fingers away from that. It will hurt. Boop. Okay. Now what we're going to go ahead and do next is uh, test for leaks. Make sure there's nothing leaking here. We'll go ahead and put air in it just to make sure what we actually have it going down the road just to make sure it's not leaking at all. So let me get some air. I got the spray solution. We'll check to make sure it's all leak free. Okay, got about 65 pounds in it. Uh, I'm gonna spray some of this soapy solution on it. Make sure nothing's leaking. Everything's good. Valve stem versus the heck of it. It's good. It's two down, two to go. Number three, <laughs> one more. Last one. It's hot. Let's see my shirt. It is hot out here. Number four, I'm done. Let's, let's get it on the trailer. Get the trailer back in the shop. It is hot. Trailer's back in the shop. All the valve stems have been replaced with brand new metal metal ones. No more leaks. Uh, another good advantage of the metal ones, if you hit debris going down the road, sometimes it will hit that valve stem, take it right off. That happened to me one time. So, but now with a metal stem, it's a little bit harder for it to break. It's a lot more rigid, uh, especially with that weight hanging on the end, which is that sensor. So well, now I know I won't have any issues going, track, going down the track. Oh gosh, sun has got to me right now. Going down the road, especially with it's getting hotter and all that stuff, it's felt best to go ahead and just get replaced now. Got a race coming up this weekend. I wanna make sure this trailer's in tip top shape, get me to the track wherever we have to go. Anyway, be a mo can. But uh, with that, this project is done. Uh, I got one more little project to do before the race coming up. Gotta get the carburetor off. Uh, the car's been sitting here for a little over a week now, not being raced. So I'm going to take it off, get it all cleaned up, and put it back on the car. Should be ready to go for the race coming up this weekend. But uh, if you do like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave comments down below if you've got any comments about the, the video and stuff, or about me, who, who knows. But anyway, uh, with that, I'm out of here. We're on to our next project, and hopefully uh, we'll get that done here shortly, and we'll put it up there on the uh, site. Uh, just to let you know. We uh, po our I post videos every Sunday at 10 a.m. So look out for those every Sunday at 10 a.m. So with that, I'm out of here.